we are off to Dartmouth today. We've just left Gillen Cove and the boat's been there for the last um, four, four, four or five days. Um, basically, we got into Falmouth last week and the next morning I had to go back to Devon, get the train um, for a family funeral. So I was there for a few days um, and Ben has been down here in Cornwall where his parents have been working on um, their house down here. Um, so Ben's been <coughs> straight back to work, really, for the last sort of few days, um, which is good, helping them out. So I came back last night, and we have uh, left this morning early. We're up at half five, and we are on our way up to Dartmouth. So that's going to take about 10 hours, I think, at a good speed. We're motoring at the moment because there's no wind. It should pick up by lunchtime and then we should be able to sail. And the best bit is we've got our little dog back on board, um, Miley. She's been staying with my mum for the last three years basically since we've been away. Um, and we've been seeing her obviously as we come back. But um, I brought her back down with me and she's on boat with us which is really, really nice. Um, so it's really good to have her back. We didn't take her away travelling with us because she hasn't ever been that keen for the boat, to be honest, when we're actually sailing and heeled over and stuff. Um, but it's going to be a fairly calm couple of days, so she's all good. And we're, we'll be staying in Dartmouth tonight, and then tomorrow we'll be carrying on up the coast for another four hours, four to five hours, back to our headquarters top shop. Are you going to get back to bed? Yeah. Yeah, we were up early, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Go on then. We've got nine knots of wind, managed to start sailing, we've got the twin head sails out, um, and are you going to put the mizzen stay sail up Ben? Yeah, I think you've got a favourite sail out. It is my favourite sail. Well, you like it a lot. We've got, um, let's see how many miles left, um, 27 miles to go, so we're getting about half six maybe but I think we're going to have quite a lot of tide with us for the rest of the afternoon. So we might get in a little bit quicker than that. But yeah, it's really nice out here today. It's really sunny, really warm. And yeah, it's just nice to make the, make the most of our last couple of days.
just anchored here in Dartmouth and we've got a great spot. We were really worried it was going to be like super packed being a weekend and stuff, but it's not. There's one boat anchor and the rest are on the big um, mooring boys here. So yeah, it's great. We need to get a shore because this little Miley pup hasn't had a wee for 11 and a half hours. So I think we're going to head ashore and there's a really nice little pub on the front. Um, going to have a beer there. Um, and yeah, maybe get an early night because we were up at half five this morning, so. Good morning, Miley. How are you? Happy? Yeah. So we're just getting ready to leave for uh, the River X this morning. Uh, that's our home port up near Topsham, so that's where we started our journey three years ago. And um, just waiting for the engine to heat up. Is there any wind to sail today, Ben? Not much? Um, it might be, it's just a little bit to start with, and then it's going to die out, I think. Oh, okay. So, see how it goes. Uh, it's about four hours, I think, and we're just going to try and um, hit the mouth of the River X. Um, at about half past two, aren't we? Because yeah. high tide's about four, so then we'll ride the tide up. So, let's get going. Who's a lucky boy then? That's a good copy. Um, we will proceed to that position and just see what we can do, see if we can help them. Okay, uh, this is Bora Bora standing by. Ah. Right. So what's just happened is uh, we got a call from Southern Coast Guard saying that there's uh, a boat that needs a tow off of Berry Head. So they've given us a position and we're going to go and see if we can help them. Um, they just want to tow to like the nearest place of safety, which I think would probably be Brixham, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's going to be Brixham, but it depends on how close we have to get and not see anything. And also we need to make the, the bar at Exeter for the tides. Rescue mission, Marley. What do you think of that? Not much, eh? just passed um, and I said to Ben as we passed them, oh, they're, they're key and they're really trying to sail in their wind and look like they were just stationary so, and it was because they needed to have, but why they didn't radio us, I don't know, so we'll yeah, go back. We had 16 on and, just, and they've yeah. obviously got a radio because they've spoken to the Coast Guard. Yeah, well they're obviously still starting the process with the Coast Guard so they were probably just waiting to see what he said. He was just looking for a big enough boat to tow them. So that's them there, is it, Head? Uh, hi, yeah, yeah. can you just repeat their name, the uh, the vessel name for me, please? Bora Bora, this is Psycho Vessel's name is Mona Louise, over. Uh, Mona Louise, copy that. I will um, be standing by on 16 so I can talk with them. Over. Bora Bora, this is Psycho Scott, watch around. attached to the back and just motoring at idle at the moment. Um, they're only six tons so that's not bad and we're going to try and get them as close as we can to Brixham Harbour and they might just have to take a boy or anchor outside. Yeah. And we work with two and a half knots, should I just slow down a bit? No uh, that's fine, just keep it steady. It's just in idle so. Yeah. The, uh, the biggest worry is them hitting us. Yeah. 
debating whether I put on another line. I think I'm going to undo it back a bit. What, make it a bit longer? So we're just coming around Barry Head now. <coughs> um, the idea is that we need to get to our coast to almost to a stop really but they're a lot lighter than us so they're going to keep on coast forward if we slow down so we need to get their speed right down and then we can drop the rope pull it in and they can drop their anchor like outside the harbour but whether that's all the US pound I don't know well the wind is just picking up which is good because if we're coming from that direction I should be able to bring them up into the wind at least that will try and slow them down yeah and the harbour master sending out some sort of launch to, to help tow them actually into the harbour, but whether they can assist with um, slowing them down, or I don't know. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just the, the question is whether we can get to Exmouth in time. Yeah, I know we've only got like an hour and a half now to get to Exmouth, so we're going to. Vortex, Vortex, Tristillion, Tristillion. Is that it? Nearly, not yet. Cool. Yeah, it's in. Good job. Now we've got to try and make the bar. Yeah, we need to get a shift on. Use every little trick to get there in time, won't we? Yeah. We're going to be an, about an hour later than we thought. But, I mean, there's tides at what? Four. Four. It's just that thing of if you go aground, you're aground for the whole bunch of tide. Yeah. Whereas if it's rising, you need to get yourself off. Yeah. Well. Well, we're just about there. Nearly there. Yeah, backing them up. <laughs> Back up the dodgy X. Yeah, I really don't want to run aground. I know. It's notorious, isn't it? This yeah, river. Or it's the shallowest we've seen before, 0.1. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be 0.1, but we should do a little bit better than that now. Yeah. See how it goes. Well, since we last came up here in the boat, which was three years ago, it all would have changed because it's shifting sandbars, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. But they do, by this time of the year, they would have moved the boys again for this year. So yeah. It should be just in case just follow the boys. back on the River X on the mooring that we originally were on before we left three years ago and it's our friend Dave and Hazel's and it just so happens they're away um, again at the moment so we're going to use it for a couple of nights and that's the pub over there and that's where I worked um, for a couple of years actually but this is where we lived for a whole year before we left 
It's just the most amazing spot. Absolutely gorgeous day, really, really warm. Um, we're just going to take the dog for a walk, I think, aren't we, down the towpath? Yeah. You ready for a walk, Miley Dog? Yeah? Still half asleep, I think. <laughs> So many birds here, aren't there? Yeah. It's really unique. You know exactly where you are when you wake up in the morning because the sound of the birds. Good morning, it is the 2nd of August um, and we are, it's about half seven or something and I think that the high tide is going to be around eight and the guys are coming down from the council to open the lock. I think what, we're lucky because one of the boat's coming out so we'll get to share the cost of the lock-in. But um, I remember back four years ago when the boat was released from the lock into the estuary and that for me at the that sort of signified the start of the adventure, the moment at which, you know, really you can sort of point the pointy end at wherever your heart's desired and just head off over the horizon and the thing will take you there and that's that's what we've done. And it's, um, yeah, it sort of marks the end going back through the lock. So it is kind of an emotional day, but um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting, isn't it? Going back in. Yeah, yeah, it does sort of mark the end, but you know, we're going to have the boat here for the summer. Yeah. And we'll be yeah. able to use it, you know, as and when. And we've got quite a bit of work to do on it, like, to get her looking yeah. smart again. Just and it's a beautiful place, you know. It is. It's an absolutely lovely place. Yeah, I couldn't ask for a better place to kind of start and end the journey. Yeah, definitely.
we are back at Turf and we are in the canal basin here and we've been back for a few months now, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, been back for a little while. And we've just come down this weekend to kind of give the boat a bit of a spring clean, do some maintenance and just keep her in tip top shape. Yeah, this is the place or is the place where we started from and in the last four years we've sort of left and come back so we've finished the complete circuit. Um, which is great. We're happy to be back despite the uh, unprecedented times at the moment. Yeah. Um, we are. We're currently in lockdown because of the whole um, the coronavirus, coronavirus thing. And, but in that sense, it's good to be back and not be travelling around mm -hmm. um, when obviously I, you know, the environment for that's not so good at the moment. But we've got plans ashore yep. for, the, for the foreseeable future. Yeah. One of those being that we are expecting a baby. <laughs> He's pregnant. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not just fat. Um, seven months now, so yeah, due due in August. So um, yeah, things are going to get a little bit complicated for us, uh, more complicated than they have been anyway. And for that reason, this is probably the last video. Um, yeah. From us on Bora Bora. Yep, yeah, but never say never. Um, you know, we might be back out there at some point, most probably. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we'll yeah. sail again. It's just uh, you know. If and when you know we've got to, we've got to settle with our new life, well, the new for life now. for now, and then um, in the future we'll hopefully yeah. see see you all out there at yeah. one point on the big blue. Put in the anchor up for the last time in England. <laughs>